He says he wouldn't consider debasing himself, but honestly, nothing can debase you more than that fake, stupid firefighter's outfit. Let's do it! We're gonna beat up Arlo and his new Shadow Nidoran male team. This is gonna be just way too easy, ladies and gentlemen. So, my assumption is you don't need my help. But hey, if you do, I'm right here. So, we're gonna actually try to do most of the fight with uh, Agron. I did get a few hits in with this Alakazam. Thing is, Nidoran male, it's only weak to Psychic or Ground. But I was kind of preparing for the next Pokemon coming up. The Nidoran male is like so squishy and tiny. At least this one can get off a uh, charge move, so at least it's got that going for it. It can generate the energy kind of quick, I guess. But anyway, like I said, we're preparing for the next Pokemon, and his middle spot is going to be Cradilly for this lineup. He can have other ones too, you know, and other ones in the end spot as well. But again, I wanted to generate energy, so remember these principles. Anytime you're struggling in Team Go Rocket, uh, kind of multiple things. One is just that the Team Go Rocket Pokemon will scale up or down their CP based on your trainer level. This is a trainer at level 38, one of my accounts. So generally, the lower you are, the lower their CP is going to be, but the higher you are, the higher their CP amounts are going to be. Again, it scales with you. You should also remember, of course, every single time that you or they use a charge attack, or if you switch out or Team Go Rocket switches out, this will also include fainting. There's going to be some stun time. So this is time where, for instance, right here, we just use a charge attack. This Cradilly is not doing anything for just about three seconds once again, and then it's going to attack. So during that time that it's like in stun time where it's not moving at all or doing anything, you don't want to use your charge attack. Even if you have the energy for it, don't use it. Wait until they're getting ready to attack and then use it. That's basically just because you're going to over-generate and charge up for another charge attack potentially. They can stack up. You know, you could have like a whole bunch of heavy slams ready, for example, with Agron here. Unfortunately, when he sends in Charizard right now, it kind of looked good because Charizard is actually using Air Cutter. Isn't that its flying move? And that's good when we're going up with Agron. Agron and everything like that because Agron's gonna resist it, but the only bad thing was I am using Pokemon all below the Great League, and so obviously an Agron of that level just hasn't been able to take the beating, I guess, that it's been getting right here. So again, if you were like anything above the Great League's 1500 CPs, you probably would have outlasted that and been just fine. And the cool thing is, of course, Charizard is gonna take 256% damage, that super effectiveness from Rock, as opposed to the, I think it's a normally 160, right? Something around there for just regular super effective, so imagine it's kind of like doubly super effective, you could say. But we finished it off right there. I mean, Alakazam, Kling Clang, we really did not need that much. Again, you could do this with just like one 3,000 CP Pokemon and it'll be done. Back in the days, people used to complain about how hard it was to beat Team Go Rocket. It seems they got their way. Why not click an end screen to see something else here? Maybe Giovanni, where you could actually use some help? And thanks for viewing.